Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Suki Arena and Event Center for the second period of the Mesolonsky Eagles versus the John Baps Crusaders. Class B high school hockey action. We're going to go on a power play right here with Dexter, Cunningham, and Dexter. Dexter comes up the left-hand side, broken up, leaves it, and uh, there'll be an offsides. The uh, Baps... Baps defensemen are doing a great job of taking the taking the blue line away and showing great gap control right now. Draw one back to St. Pierre. St. Pierre's going to flip it up by St. Dexter will dump it in. Chasing it's Pate. Pate's going to flip it up. Kept in by Dexter. Dexter leaves it for St. Pierre. It comes out of the zone. Cross ice pass to Dexter. Dominic Dexter crosses the line. Leaves a pass right there for, for Boomer. Let's call him Boomer. Back to St. Pierre. Over to Sam Dexter to Cunningham. Cunningham now behind the net looking for uh, Dexter. Dexter now back to St. Pierre. St. Pierre hangs on. Cross ice pass to Dexter. Dexter over to St. Pierre. St. Pierre now hangs on. He's going over to Sammy Dexter. Sammy Dexter fires a shot save. That's going to leave a mark. Now the shot from St. Pierre goes wide chasing its Massey. Got to get him on net. Massey hangs onto it along the board. Killing time. Minute to go in the power play. Back now. Dexter keeps it in. Fires it down low. Chasing it's going to be Massey and Dexter. Dexter gets there first. Leaves it to Boomer. Boomer to Cunningham. Cunningham's going to make a move. Nice play, Cunningham! Lennard goes across the uh, crease, and Saint, uh, Cunningham just goes on the, uh, ice, short on the ice back short side. And that was a great look by Boomer Dexter. On that is uh, Chase came out, came down low. Boomer came out, passed the, passed the puck right back down. And he was able to come out and put in a power play goal. That's a big goal there for the Eagles to get their three-goal lead back. Now Dexter. Now Dexter down. Sends it around. Dexter's there. He's coming up, sends a cross ice pass to St. Pierre. St. Pierre makes a move, comes through the neutral zone now. He's going to go around Beals. Sends it in, broken up right there by Chef. Chef coming up, broken up by Bernacci. Bernacci over to St. Pierre to Toll. Toll now up to Bernacci. Bernacci sidesteps Toll. Bernacci still on the ice. He's battling right there. Bernacci digging, not giving up. Now Toll with it. Toll back to St. Pierre. St. Pierre flips it in. They give chase. That's Blake chasing him down now. Blake coming hard on Glifford. Goes around. Bernacci's there. Bernacci back to Blake. Can't handle the pass. Back to Glifford. Glifford now up ice. Kept by Simpson right there. Simpson's going to skate. Down he goes. Oh, my. There's a penalty. Simpson's going to the box for two. No, it's not going to no? be Simpson. It's going to be a hook on the... Uh... Here they come. They've got a break right now. Blake, he's got Cunningham out front. Oh, it's oh got to be my. possession and control. That could be costly. They had two men wide open out front. Blake was getting ready to make the pass. I'd like to thank all of you folks from all around the world watching this game on the Internet, on the RenegadeNetwork.org. Hockey Night in Maine. Glad we can bring you here to Suki Arena and Event Center and share tonight's game with you. 12.34 to go here in the second period. Score is 4-1 to one in favor of the Eagles. Draw is going to come to the left of Lennard. On it's going to be Cunningham. He wins the draw cleanly back to St. Pierre. St. Pierre over to Dexter. Dexter now flips it down low, looking for Cunningham. Cunningham's got it. He's going to make a quick shot back to the net. Leonard ran it all the way. Down low now. Dexter's there. He's fighting with Romaine. Dexter gets it, though. He's coming up the left-hand side along the half board. Back to St. Pierre. Back down, looking for Cunningham. Cunningham curls up the half board. Cunningham pulls it in. He's going to walk in, fires a shot, broken up right there by Massey. Out in front. Boy, Boy there's a lot of, lot of action there. In front of the net as Boomer Dexter's getting beat on pretty good. But that's the uh, place where you earn your stripes right there out in front. Dexter now, back to uh, Dexter. Dexter goes to St. Pierre. St. Pierre comes in, dumps it down, and the Eagles give chase. On it first will be Cunningham. Cunningham and Beals. Uh, Romaine. Intercepted by Fletcher, sent back, and it's knocked out of the zone. On the stick of St. Pierre. St. Pierre settles it down. He's got Pate all over him. Leaves it for Dexter. De oh, my! What a vicious hit! There's a call. That was a stupid play. 
He had his back right to the boards, and he ended up going in. Glad he's okay. He's up and skating, but he's sure be looks careful sore. Or they're going to get another one. He don't look well. He looks a little sore right there. Holy crap. That was just a brutal hit from behind. What's it going to be? Just a two? Well, he didn't motion, so I don't know. He's going to call it a board. He just did. So that'll be a two-minute boarding penalty. Wow, the Eagles are going to be up by two men. They're going to put Bernarchi, Toll, and Varney out there. And Cunningham on the point with St. Pierre. Varney's on the draw. He's going to go up against right out. No, number 30 right there. The France intercepted by Bernacci. Bernacci putting some pressure on. There it gets deflected out of the zone. Chasing it. Now Cunningham with it. Cunningham comes up ice. Cunningham across the line. He's got Varney with him. Cunningham looking to go out front. He's got Toll right there. Broken up, and here comes the... Well, that passes the uh, stop by St. Pierre. St. Pierre curls. Goes cross ice to Varney. Varney back to Cunningham. Cunningham down low looking for Toll to Bernacci. Bernacci, quick shot. Save right there. Or did he? No, it went on the Oh, line. it's right on, on the, the line. The right on the post. 13 it, seconds left in the five on three. Doesn't get much closer than that. Nice save by Leonard. Now the Eagles will put out Dexter. Dexter and Cunningham with Dexter and, uh, boy, he does it to me. Puts all the Dexters out on one line. St. Pierre up to Sammy. We'll go that way. Sammy comes down, leaves it for Cunningham. Cunningham cross ice. Dex uh, St. Pierre fires a shot, save right there. Curls right there to Sammy Dexter. Shot broken up. Back to the point. St. keeps it in. St. Pierre with it now. He fires a cross ice pass. Shot, save. Goes wide now. In the corner, Massey fires it up. Dexter keeps her in. Boy, that was a flying elbow right there. No call. With it, it's Dexter. Back to St. Pierre. St. Pierre fires a shot. Nice save. Leonard with a glove save. No traffic in front of him. That's going to be an easy save. That'll be an easy save for uh, Leonard when he's got nobody in front of him to screen him. Boy, some action out in front of the net right there. Great job by St. Pierre at the blue line, keeping it in. Cunningham loses the draw. Does come back, though. Dexter's there. Bats it down. Knocked out of the zone. Del Judas will come out and play it with 10 minutes left. 48 on the power play. St. Pierre behind his net. Curls comes up ice. He's got Cunningham. Sends it up to Dexter. Uh, Boomer with it. Boomer goes down. In comes Cunningham. And it's knocked up. Should be a high stick right why, there. You know, that's a pet peeve of mine is why players do that. You know it's going to be a high stick even if you get it. it now the draw is going to come all the way down here rather than just chase it and uh, flip it out. Chances. Especially when you have a goalie like Nate who will play the puck for you. I'm sure Coach Latundris will address that. On the draw now, Varney. Varney's going to be out there with Fletcher. And St. Pierre will come away with it now. St. Pierre in the neutral zone. Crosses the line. He takes it down deep. Looking to go out front. Leaves a pass. Nobody home. Varney now along the blue line. Trying to go back to St. Pierre. T touches it to Dexter. Down low to Bernacci. Bernacci curls. Comes up. Loses control of the puck. And it's knocked all the way down. Del Judas will come out and play it. Five seconds left on the uh, power play. Del Judas up to St. Pierre. St. Pierre. Oh, he's broken up. He gathers it back in, though. St. Pierre will cross the line. St. Pierre curls. Leaves it. Looking for Toll. Can't. Sends it down low. Bernacci's there. Bernacci with it. Back to Toll. Toll back to St. Pierre. Nice passing by these boys. St. Pierre tees it up. Save right there. Bernacci all over Leonard. Looking for a rebound. Leonard keeps that puck right in there. Great job. 8.57 to go in this 4-1 to game in favor of the Eagles. Again, the Eagles' power play, they've gotten a couple goals, but they've been off quick strikes. When they get in there to set up, they just seem to be uh, very tentative about getting it to the net and getting traffic in front of Leonard. Draw one by Dexter. To Dexter, that is. Dexter shots right there. Where is it bouncing? Back to Blake. Blake Curlin looking to come back. Can't quite get it, and the Crusaders will come away. Chasing it. Now that's going to be number 19, which I don't have on my sheet. Behind the net. Veyu. Broken up along the boards now. Blake Saint, uh, Simpson goes down. Reese was there. Knocks it down low. And Dexter now battling behind the net with Spear. First time saying that night tonight. Spear back to the point. Massey shots broken up right there. Blake. 
Looked like he might have played catcher at one point in his life. Blake gets Jack. He goes down. Good oh, hit, my. That's he's not looking hit. well right there. He's he's going to skate to the bench. He hit that hard part of the bottom of the boards with no forgiveness. And the Crusaders come out. They got a man advantage if they hurry. Now coming onto the ice for, uh, for Blake is Dexter. Del Judas around. Sends it over to uh, Foy. Foy gets rocked right there. The Crusaders picking up the action. They're jacking their own players. Now in the neutral zone, it's fired up. Simpson breaks the play up. Sent back down. Massey gets it, pulls it in. Massey's, uh, no, that's number 22. I apologize. Glifford, he sends it down. 17's wide open. Fletcher looking to go up. Oh, he's all over the back of Dexter, too. Boy, Dexter's back's going through one beating Saved tonight. Saved by Del Judas. Now we got a pass right there. Oh. Dex they would have gone in alone. Leonard comes out, plays it. Boy, he might have been better to cover it up. He might pay for that one. Broken up, though. And St. Pierre. Too many men. What? He was... Yep. Oh, my. Coach Latundra is not happy with that. I mean, that's a split second. It may have been, but that's a no, no forgiveness whatsoever in the referee right there. That's a quick call. That's going to be a too many men penalty on the Eagles. So they'll have their uh, John Babs will get their first power play, and it looked very good the other night. All right, just got an update. The Central Maine Pee Wees are doing a well of a job winning two, uh, leading 2 nothings. Goal scored by Tommy Tibbetts and Jacob Bernacci giving those Pee Wees a 2 nothing lead. That's great to hear. Unless you're the wife that's got to stay there till the 9-10 game following after it in Rockport. All right, they battle. All the way down in the Eagle zone. Foy's with it. Foy bats it up. Foy now right in the neutral zone of Dexter. Dexter right now. Cunningham. Cunningham coming down on Pate. They both forget the puck. Away with it's going to come Beals. Beals leaves the pass right there for Romain. Romain up ice. He's got a man in Massey. Massey coming down. Broken up. Followed up by Beals though. Shot goes wide. Foy's there. Foy battles. Gets it up now to Cunningham. Cunningham can't break the play up. Kept in by... Romaine down low. It's going to do it all over again. Cunningham this time will get it out of the zone. Chasing it will be Pate with 6.30 to go. Minute nine on their power play. Pate with the puck. They'll bring it behind the net. The Crusaders set up. Bad pass right there. Varney breaks it up. Beals comes in, takes it right back. He's going to come in, fire it down low. Del Judas will come out. Stop the puck. Fires it around to Varney. Varney leaves it right now. Cunningham. Cunningham to Varney. Look at this. It's like the Globetrot is on ice. Here comes Varney. Varney coming down the left-hand side. He's broken up by Fletcher. Fletcher will send it around. On to Gavoy. Gavoy. Hey, he comes up the left-hand side. Bay will chase him. Bay is going to push him up against the boards, and it comes down in the corner. Foy will give chase. Foy. St. Pierre throwing the flying elbow right there. He gets away with one. Now it comes out of the zone all the way down. No icing, and Bayou will be there first. Bayou now killing time. Look at Bayou go. They're chasing Bayou. Bayou will get, chase Pate now. Pate looking at him. He's got the Jets turned on. He's coming up ice. He's broken up right there by Dexter. He gathers it back in, fires it out. Chasing it's going to be number 22 that right there. That should just about do it. Glifford with the putt. Going up ice. On to the stick of Romain. Romain coming down. It'll be an offsides with 5.21 to go here in the second period. 4-1 just score in favor of these Mesolonsky Eagles. Mesolonski, despite all their power plays, again, hasn't had many shots on net. I was told that Rydell is 31 in goal for John Babs. Well, it's double zero. Oh, no, they must have switched goalies. That is correct. You know, didn't uh, even notice it. I appreciate that, man. The fans are on the ball. All right, now out in front. So that's Rydell and net. Here come the Eagles. Coming up ice is St. Pierre. St. Pierre looking to get up through the neutral zone. Fires it in. Chasing it now is going to be Bernacci. Bernacci coming hard down on Massey. Bernacci. Rides Massey to the boards. Toll comes in. Toll pokes it forward. They gives chase now. Sent all the way around on the stick of number 19. Who's number 19, my friend, out there for these Crusaders? Now 25 right there. Spear sends it down in the corner to 19. I don't have a 19 on my list. Who is he? Now it's sent up. Bernacci now all over the back right there. And it comes through the neutral zone. The Crusaders wanting a call on Bernacci. They might have a, a gripe right there. Sent all the way down now. Bernacci with it behind his net. Bernacci fires it up, right on the stick now, St. Pierre who lobs it up. All the way down, there'll be a nice and call on these Eagles. 4.25 to go here in the first, uh, second period, you're on the Renegade Network. 
Org. It is Hockey Night in Maine, live from Suki Arena and Event Center. Well, we're going to have a face-off down to Del Judas' right here on the icing, and the Eagles needed that as uh, that line was dead at that point as it was a very long shift. How do you like the NHL's version of that where they don't let the team that iced it change up? I think it's a great rule. They don't do that. In college, it's the same rule. Kind of a good idea not to ice it, you know. Make it more entertaining. Now behind the net, Varney with it. Varney curls. He's got Dexter out in front. Dexter can't handle the pass. Comes back. Simpson with it. Simpson going down low. On the stick of Cunningham. Cunningham looking to come out in front of the net. He curls. Cunningham there making a nice move over to Dexter. Dexter along the boards. Back to Cunningham. Cunningham now along the boards. Cunningham fires it down. Varney. This is an exhibition, my friends. Watch this go. Cunningham now. Cunningham shot saved by Rydell. Back to the point. Dexter's shot. Goes in the corner. Varney's there. Varney poking it, poking it out front. Nobody home. Away come the Crusaders. Dumped by Chap. All the way down. That was a great, some great puck movement by the Eagles. Got a quality scoring chance, but Rydell made an excellent save there for the Crusaders. And I apologize to everyone. I didn't even see the change. I didn't as well. They didn't warm him up, so he's number 31 right there, yes. And now, Veyu. Oh, my Veyu gets rocked! Had his head down, and he got absolutely pasted. Massey just putting the body to him. Now it goes out front. Veyu's still right there. He may get the last save oh, by nice putting the puck in the net. save by Rydell there. Along the boards now, Fletcher coming up the right-hand side. Fletcher coming down on St. Pierre. St. Pierre will have none out of that, and he sends it up to Blake. Blake can't handle it. Pate gets it, fires it in. He's got to wait. They're off sides. St. Pierre comes away now. St. Pierre in the neutral zone. Gathers it in, fires it up a little too far for Blake, but they say no icing. He, yeah, he got it. a piece of it. In the corners, Romain. Romain back to Massey. Massey up ice, broken up right there by Toll. Toll looking to go. Crawl, nice pass to Varney. Can't handle it. Varney looking to come up. Back to St. Pierre. St. Pierre tees one up. On net. Save right there by Rydell. Great, great rebound control by Rydell as there was two white jerseys right there ready to pounce on any rebound. Great play by Rydell. He, boy, if that puck would have dropped, there were three Eagles ready to swamp all over that puck and knock her in. Now the draw will come to the right, right of Rydell. On it will be Romain. No, that's number 21 of Reese. Shot, oh, save. Right off, well done by Varney. Boy, we've seen a lot of that face-off action this year with these Eagles. Now back at the point, Varney. Loses control, and it comes back to St. Pierre. 2.29 to go here in the second period. Up ice pass to Cunningham. Cunningham can't handle it. Comes back to the point. Foy. Foy bats it up. He can't handle it as well. Varney now in the neutral zone. He loses it to Spear, and Spear sends a cross ice pass. Looking for Reese. Reese just gets jacked right there. Foy goes down, too, as well. Back now. Foy will give chase. Del Judas comes out. He leaves it for Foy. Now he decides he'd rather send it up to St. Pierre. St. Pierre with a long pass on the stick of the wrong play, though. Glifford finds it up. And that'll be an icing there on the Crusaders with a minute 56 to go. We'll get a change here for both teams. The Eagles come back with a Boomer Dexter, Bernacci, and Toll. Looks like we'll have the second line for the Crusaders. Bernacci on the draw. Can't see all the numbers, 32. Toll back to uh, Simpson. Simpson shot. It's broken up. Bernacci now battling in the corner. Over to Dexter. Dexter battling right here with Yakinen. Yakinen, Dexter. Bernacci just jacks Yakinen. Down he goes. Now in the corner. Bernacci hangs on, loses it. Yakinen will come away with it. Nice pass up to uh, 27 right there of Chef. Chef loses it to Toll. Good back check by JT Toll. Behind the net now, Dexter. Dexter's going to go around. Massey can't keep it in. It comes out in the neutral zone. Massey will flip it in. They've got a tag up. Comes all the way down on Del Judas. Leaves it for Dexter. Dexter now in the neutral, uh, the half boards. Fires it up. Knocked out of the zone. This Eagles line starting to look a little flat right now. Dexter with it. Dexter now behind the net. Flips it around for Dexter. Boomer now. Looking to go up ice. All the way onto the Romain stick. Romain fires it cross ice pass. A little too far. It's going to come all the way down. Is that an icing? Yes, it is. Icing with 54 seconds to go here in the second period from Suki Arena. Both teams will counter with their top lines here.
JJ time. Now the draw to the right of Rydell. On it's going to be Fletcher. He's going up against Varney. The Blue Crew looking to get her done. Shot all the way on Rydell. Boy, charging hard was Varney and Rydell hangs tough. It's going to come out in the neutral zone. With it's going to be LaFrance. Sent all the way down. Del Judas is there. Flips it up ice to St. Pierre. St. Pierre now. Over to Varney. Varney with a long pass. Touched by Dexter though. No icing. He touched it. Now it goes all the way to Massey. Massey gets shoved by Dexter. Varney there trailing the play though. Varney. Looking to go back, broken up by Pate. Pate now up the boards. On the stick of LaFrance. LaFrance now out in the middle ice to Pate. Pate over to Le Fletcher. Fletcher on the right-hand side trying to make a pass. Gloved to himself by Pate. And St. Pierre's with it. St. Pierre up to Varney. Varney now to, to Cunningham. Cunningham on the move. Cunningham just a little too far out in front. Couldn't quite get to it in time. Foy's there, though. Foy. Along the boards, he battles with Fletcher. St. Pierre will come in, and that's one second. That'll just about do it here. That does do it here in the second period. Your score from Sukurina and Event Center is 4-1 to one in favor of these Mesolonsky Eagles. Shots on goal, 21-8 to eight in favor of these Eagles. We'll be right back after these messages. We may have a special guest on, I don't want to say, but he's supposed to be here. If he does, we'll be right back. So hang on, my friends. Okay, JJ. How much, how much time left? Well, we're between periods here of the John Baps Crusaders versus Mesolonsky Eagles. And I have a special guest with me uh, who's been here on this with before, uh, Bill Stewart. Welcome, Bill. Great, yeah. It's great to be here. Uh, you know, you just mentioned, I guess we'll start quickly with that, as you were at that UMO game last night where they were down 3 nothing, and then all of a sudden decided to start playing hockey and uh, yeah. Caught fire. Yeah, you know, what's interesting about Maine is they're not that kind of team that can just show up and expect to win a game. Like, they're, they're a talented team, but, you know, they have to bring it and they have to show up and they have to be ready to play and be ready to work in order for them to win a game. And I know they, they're coming up a couple big games against BC and BU, but, you know, they're, you know they're, they don't have that talent where they can just show up and just kind of just expect to go through the motions and win. And I think they kind of found that out last night. Um, Played a pretty good first period, were terrible in the second period, and uh, then finally it was like they just kind of flicked the switch. Luckily, they're playing a team that you know once they kind of jumped on them a little, you know that you know Alabama Huntsville kind of. Well, they're up five nothing now with about seven eight minutes to go in the game. Not so. surprising there. Yeah, uh, that was the game know. that Alabama Huntsville had to have was last night. So now you, you wonder if that was really truly a letdown though too. I mean, you're coming off back to back to back to back wins over your Boston rivals. Yeah, there had to be a little bit of a letdown coming into that game, playing a 225 and one team last night in Alabama Huntsville. True, although Alabama Huntsville did come in with a win over Denver and a one goal loss to Minnesota Duluth. However, yeah, you're right. I mean, that was, you know, right for a letdown, which they did have. Uh, it was the first time since 0102, I believe, that they swept BC and BU in back-to-back -back weekends. So, well, let's get a little bit of high school hockey in here now. Sure. We're here. I know you saw the uh, first game, pretty exciting game, back and forth game between. The Holton Hodgson Blackhawks and yep. your uh, and our own Lawrence Bulldogs here. Tough yep. loss for Coach Richard, but I thought his team played very well in that game. Yeah, they're starting to make some real strides, and of course, Richard said they've been. You know, it's more than halfway through the season. He's still kind of playing along with his lines, and uh, you know, they moved Jordan Nutting up from defense to forward, and he, you know, he played a pretty good game. I think you know you'll see 